The recently announced changes to the Miss America pageant, including elimination of the swimsuit competition, is still being felt by other pageant organizers and former contestants. The board's decision is part of an effort to take focus away from physical appearance. Mike Pickett from the Eyewitness News Owensboro Newsroom has reacted. When I heard the news, I was pleasantly surprised. Sarah Glitzer is a former Miss Indiana USA and competed in the Miss America primaries. The Evansville native says she didn't like competing in the swimsuit portion, believing it took focus away from what she wanted to accomplish. Because I didn't want the focus to be there. I wanted the focus to be on what I could bring to the interview room and who I was as a human being and what I had to offer beyond what I looked like in a swimsuit. And so for me personally, um, I would have much preferred to compete without a swimsuit portion. Glitzer called the pageant board's decision to remove the swimsuit portion and change the evening gown competition a positive change, one that moves the focus to a contestant's actions instead of a contestant's looks. By eliminating the focus on outward beauty, it really forces the girls to better know who they are and what they bring to the table as human beings. It's kind of mixed. I've had a few phone calls this morning already um, asking, hey, are you taking the swimsuit portion out? Heather Knight runs the Henderson County Fair beauty pageant, which has a swimsuit portion for its oldest age group. She says the changes make sense to her adding it could encourage more to compete and change perceptions. We want all women to feel like they're important, and especially children. They need all the encouragement they can get in our country today. Um, so anything that I can do, or our community can do to make them feel better about themselves and to participate, we want them to do that. While Knight says it's too late to take out the swimsuit portion for this year's pageant, she does say they will reevaluate the situation for next year's. In Henderson, Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.